My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by MSI, EVGA, Tesoro, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. Hey guys, welcome back to my Computex 2017 coverage. I have traveled over to here to the Hyatt, where NVIDIA is shacked up uh, because they have a new thing. It's called Max-Q technology that they're integrating into their, their notebooks. Or, well, NVIDIA doesn't make notebooks, they make graphics cards. But Max-Q is sort of a collaboration, a set of standards. So NVIDIA can work with the notebook manufacturers to make laptops that you can game on with like GTX 1070s and 1080s that are super quiet but still give you an extremely adequate gaming experience. So the actual definition of Max-Q comes from NASA, and it's their definition of the point at which the aerodynamic stress on a rocket in atmospheric flight is maximized. So what is it when it comes to NVIDIA's implementation? Basically, it's kind of like a new Ultrabook standard, but not from Intel. It's a standard from NVIDIA. Uh, it's to work with laptop manufacturers to produce 18 to 19 millimeter thick gaming notebooks that actually have decent gaming performance and that don't sound like jet engines under load. So I've got some slides to share with you guys, but I'm going to try not to dwell on the NVIDIA marketing stuff because they say stuff like up to 70% more gaming performance and they have graphs where the y-axis doesn't start at zero and I don't like that. Uh, but what I thought of when they described this was min-maxing, like back in the Diablo or World of Warcraft days. Min-maxing for notebooks. They're doing it by using every means possible to improve airflow and cooling within these 18 millimeter thick notebooks. And that's a pretty tough job when you're using a full fat GTX 1070 or 1080 in there. It's even more difficult when you have to meet max Q standards that NVIDIA has set, which means it has to stay below 41 dBA while gaming, so very, very quiet. The demo notebook that they showed off for this purpose was the Asus Zephyrus. Uh, that's an ROG laptop, it's 18 millimeters thick. It's got a GTX 1080 inside and 120 hertz G-Sync monitor. So trick one that Max-Q notebooks will use is unique cooling solutions. And for the Zephyrus, it was a hinged design on the back of the notebook. It opens up the underside of the laptop when the screen is open. So that allows a lot more airflow into the GPU, the power delivery and other components. Trick two is to use high quality power delivery components and that will pretty much cut down or minimize waste heat. And trick three is gonna be a set of optimized game settings that you'll be able to access with GeForce Experience. NVIDIA says they already have 400 games that are set up and they're gonna be adding more in the future. The idea is to find that perfect point on the performance versus power usage scale and always have the laptop play right there which sounds like a pretty good idea in theory, and once these laptops actually get in the hands of reviewers, we'll see how it plays out in practice. One final option for Max-Q notebooks is whisper mode, and this is an even quieter mode that reduces power consumption even more for sub 40 dBA gameplay, which means in most environments with a noise floor above 40 dBA, you won't even hear the notebooks at all. For whisper mode, they use frame rate targeting in the 40 to 60 frames per second range, since the priority in this case is on quiet gaming versus performance. Other than that Asus notebook, they also had a Clevo P950, which is 19 millimeters thick with a GTX 1070, and an MSI GS63, 18 millimeters thick with a GTX 1070. They're going to have Max-Q gaming notebooks available from all their major notebook partner OEMs worldwide starting on June 27th. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'd like to thank my sponsors for Computex 2017. Once again, MSI, EVGA, G-Skill, Tesoro, and Cooler Master. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more coverage from Computex. We'll see you in the next one.